Welcome back to you. Uh, France has unveiled a new tax to target digital giants uh, such as Google, Amazon and Facebook. The plan was outlined yesterday by the French finance minister Bruno Le Maire. It will concern only the biggest digital companies with two cumulative tax threshold conditions, 750 million of revenue of digital activities in the world and 25 million of revenue made in France. But it hasn't gone down well with some of the tech companies, perhaps unsurprisingly. Uh, let's get some more with our European affairs correspondent Stéphane de Vries, who's in Paris. Uh, morning to you, Stéphane. Uh, why has the government chosen now to bring in this new, uh, this new tax law? Good morning, Bill. Well, the French government has been trying to um, get this tax on a European-wide level, but the European countries and the European Union uh, are too slow in the eyes of uh, Bruno Le Maire, and that's why uh, France decided to uh, introduce this new tax now uh, retroactively. Uh, as per the 1st of January of this year, uh, the GAFAs, as they are called in France, uh, Google, uh, Amazon, Facebook and Apple, they will have to pay a tax on their uh, turnover and not necessarily on their benefits. Uh, so that's a new tax Bruno Le Maire thought uh, Europe uh, needed, but the Europeans are not really convinced uh, about this new French initiative. And then, of course, it's also um, a, a way of financing uh, the means, to the, the uh, concessions that have been done to the yellow vests. Um, the French government needs to find 11 billion euros to finance these new measures. Uh, and according to the French finance ministry, this new tax on the uh, internet giants could raise about 500 million euros. And then, of course, it's also the start of the campaign for the European elections. So introducing a new tax by punishing uh, or uh, imposing on uh, American companies a new tax, that could be seen uh, as a good thing uh, to the French voters. So a couple of reasons, but most of all, uh, Bruno Le Maire was in a hurry. He didn't want to wait for Brussels, and that's the reason why France now introduces this new tax. Of course, it's hardly surprising that the tech companies are not happy about it. But what exactly uh, are they replying with? Well, Facebook has said that since last year they already uh, register all their turnover uh, paid by French advertisers in France, so they uh, already comply with the new rules. Uh, other platforms like uh, uh, Airbnb uh, and Uber, they've said that they are ready for this new tax, but Google said that it will be very difficult to decide exactly what amount of turnover is being made in, in France. And that's, of course, uh, the difficulty because usually taxes um, are uh, levied on, on uh, benefits, uh, which are, well, easily to identify. But turnover, especially when it comes to Internet giants, uh, is very hard to identify where exactly does this money come from because uh, they have so much, uh, so many uh, complicated uh, uh, fiscal structures that it's very hard to know where the money exactly comes from and of course uh, this is also a way of France uh, to to fight tax evasions by internet giants uh, basically uh, through countries like Ireland Luxembourg or the Netherlands um, these big companies are using uh, legal structures to avoid paying uh, not enough uh, taxes so this is one step into a new tax uh, for France and of course France hopes that this will be a European wide tax imposed on internet giants. All right, thank you very much, Stefan de Vries there in Paris.